Welcome back. This is my dad. We're on a skiff and we're gonna be looking for halibut today. You are looking at the man who made Fisherman's Chronicles literally right there. Hi guys. So this is, he doesn't fish very much ever, but today, Zero. today he is going to, so right now we're catching some live bait. I'm trying to catch some smelt anchovies mackerel last time i was here i got a 35 and a half incher on a swim bait so today we're going to throw swim baits a lot and enjoy the day with dad there we go found some bait a little anchovy i'm gonna get get some anchovies way rather have smelt but anchovies will do yeah can't be too picky today. I got a live well tied here to the side. That's where we're putting all our lives, our live baits. Perfecto, bien. Súbelo, súbelo, súbelo. Así, así. Nice. Okay. Nice. My dad just caught a perfect live bait. Nice smelt. This is what we're looking for. If we can get five more of those, we'll go fishing. Couldn't find that much live bait, but we got a couple. We're gonna head out to the mile buoy, and drop them down. Sometimes I catch bait out there. I'd just rather be fishing than using the sabiki to try to catch some anchovies right now. Let's try to catch some real fish. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Delete it, por favor. GoPro, stop it. First order of business, we're gonna send down this mackerel. This is a fantastic halibut bait. I'm gonna hook him through the nose, again through the back by the butt. Look, you're gonna see when I put him in the water, he's gonna swim around really nice. There he is. I'm gonna drop him to the bottom. Uh, 70 feet of water. We'll try it for a bit and then if we'll, we'll move in a couple minutes if, if we don't get hit. I kind of like around 50, 50 feet, but you never know where the fish are. So we got two rods out, mackerel and anchovy, and I'm gonna throw this swim bait. I caught a huge halibut with actually this exact swim bait last time I was here. So let's see if we can do it again. Toss it out. Swim bait is massively underrated out here. I don't see enough people using the swim bait. I, whenever I come out, I catch more fish on the swim bait. Bigger fish tend to come on the live bait, but I catch more fish on the swim bait and then every once in a while I get a really nice one. So once it's bottom, you just reel it up a bit. You let it flutter back down till it hits bottom again. And you can tell it hits bottom because the thumbs or the line goes slack. So that's bottom. Couple of reels. Yeah, fish on. No. Yeah, there you go, fish on. First cast on the swim bait. I think I got a rockfish or something, something small. There you go. Took one cast with the swim bait and we got a fish. Rockfish, first cast of the swim bait. There he goes. Fish on. GoPro, start recording. There you go. Second cast of the swim bait. Literally two casts, two fish right now. And it hit instantly. I think it's a rockfish, actually, maybe not. Oh, that's a nice, oh, is that a vermilion rockfish? I was missing this fish, I had not caught one yet. Nice, I got a vermilion on the swim bait. What a beautiful fish. That's a cool catch. 
that I have been wanting to catch on the second cast of the morning. Nice vermilion rockfish. And I'm probably going over some reef, which is why I'm getting them. But that guy's getting released as well. Yep, another on the swim bait. It's another rockfish. Swim bait three, live baits zero. Lean cod. Little lean cod here. You can't just lip these because they got fangs. So what you do is you use these fish grippers. Now you can just pop your hook out. There you go. Little ling. See you later. There he goes. Nice. Whoa, look at this. An octopus. I think this is a Pacific octopus. Right there you can see his beak. That thing right in the middle, that black thing. It can bite you with that and it hurts a lot. Grab him, I think, by the head. I've never even held one of these things a lot, but he's like a suction. They're super strong. And this thing is such good live bait. We're gonna move and then I'm gonna send this guy down, see what hits him. Let's see, look what happens when we put them in the water. Wow. I've caught a lot of fish that have coughed up dead octopus. And 62 feet, this is perfect. Let's see, I think it's gonna get hit. A ver, ahora sí, ahora sí. There we go. GoPro, start recording. That's a fish. I just dropped them back down. Ooh, good fish. Oh yeah, I just dropped that octopus back down a minute ago. Yes, I'm playing. Oh yeah, we're hooked up here. I don't know what it is, but it just ate an, a live octopus. Oh, that's a big lean cod. That's a nice lean cod. There you go. I have found a lot of octopus on the mouth of these things. And boom. Lean cod on the octopus. Nice. That's a good fish. Wow, you see that? That was all the octopus being suctioned onto the lean cod. You can see these guys have really big heads and gnarly teeth. We're gonna get this guy released. Yep, GoPro, start recording. There we go, another one on the swim bait. Yeah, he hit once, I felt him hit. Missed him, and the second time, didn't miss him. There's a little rockfish. Yeah, the swim bait game can be basically weeding out through rockfish to find a halibut. But when you do, it's a lot of fun. Good thing to do while you wait for a bite on the live bait. Well, we gave it a little while longer, but the wind's picking up and I get my seasickness genes from my dad. So 
we're gonna go before you have to see any puke hope you enjoyed this video if you did please stay tuned subscribe and until next time tight lines